This is the Little Dilly Pocket Adding Machine made by the Magic Wand Company in 1959 in Pasadena, Calif. I have the original box. It says, a gift you can count on. All right, let's take a look. It's a glove. Oh, I see what this is. It's a gag gift. Perfect for April Fools. It's got numbers on the fingers, and you can give it to your friends as a joke. It says, if you deal in fractions, hold against stomach and use navel as decimal point. <laughs> That's comedy right there. Magic Wand started as a little magic and gag shop, but eventually became a big deal publishing and making their own products. They were later known as Golden's Magic Wand, named after the founder, Eddie Golden. Here's another Golden product. It's a little box that says, for plain or fancy screwing. And inside is two different little screwdrivers. I don't think I get it. I mean, maybe I get it. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess I get it, but I, I don't think I really do. Actually, you can find lots of old gags from Golden's Magic Wand. They all have a really fun vintage look to them, though they're a bit outside my usual subject matter. That plain or fancy screwing gives you an idea of what kind of stuff they usually made. Well, anyway, let's try it on here. Uh, it's clearly not meant to be really used. It's for the left hand, and it's too small. I'm a grown man, and I think my hands are ordinary size. These just barely fit me. It's too small, but actually it feels like a decently made work glove. My guess is that the magic wand somehow got a bunch of surplus gloves, and somebody stamped those numbers on by hand. You can see pretty clearly the inking on the numbers looks like a rubber stamp job. If my theory is correct, then I wonder what they did with all the right-handed gloves. Maybe half of the little dillies out there are, are right-handed and I just happen to get a left-handed one? I look for some photos online and every picture seems to be left-handed like mine, so I'm not sure about this. Hey, now that I've got it on, the thumb which has the one on it is printed in a weird place. It's like on the side of my finger. Plus, nobody counts that way with their fingers anyway, not in the U.S. at least. In America, the universal finger counting order is like this. One, two, three, four, five. But with this thing, you gotta go one, two, three, four, five, which looks weird. It's hard to hold your fourth finger in that way with the fifth one down like that. Uh, whatever, you're not really supposed to use it. It just has to look cute when your obnoxious friend gives it to you, and you open the box and you see this stupid thing in there. And your friends all say, April Fools! And they laugh at you, and you think... Why would anybody manufacture and sell this thing? Why did my former friend here pay good money for this thing and give it to me? But then, you think of a big plan. See, we're playing the long game here. See, here's what you do. You laugh along with your idiot 1959 friends for a good long minute. Then you put that little dilly pocket adding machine in the original box in the closet. Then, you wait 61 years until the year 2020. At which point the little dilly adding machine in the original box has appreciated in value considerably to the tune of three dollars. And I'll tell you, my friends, I am the man who paid three dollars for the little dilly adding machine in the original box. Now that I made this video, what do you think I'm going to do with it?